Good afternoon, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. So I've been thinking about property rights. It's kind of a big thing that's popped up in the comments section lately. And so I thought I would talk a little bit about property rights. Now, I have never had an experience in my life where I've had to deal with like government intrusion. Like I've never had my car searched, my house searched. I've never been searched. Like I've never had an issue with government intrusion. So I've never had to deal with like property rights in a legal sense of that manner, but I've had to deal with property being stolen from me and having to deal with trying to get it back and proving that it was mine. Now, it seems kind of like a simple story, but I know you guys like it when I talk stories. So I figured I would share the one time that I had an issue with something being stolen from me and how I was able to get it back. And I didn't have to go to courts or laws or anything else. I was able to prove that was my property without any question about it. What it came down to was a duck boat. I had a duck boat stolen from me, right? This old duck skiff that I had was probably, well, let's see, I think it was a 1976 12-foot Valco. It was just your basic aluminum skiff. Painted green, beat up, had all kinds of like repairs done to it. And when I was leaving the house after like the foreclosure was taking place and going on this, um, or it was right at the beginning of it, but I had moved all my stuff and this duck boat was sitting in like the bushes. Right. And I went to go get it one day and it was gone. And I'm like, Oh man, somebody stole my damn boat. So I talked to my buddies about it. And they're like, you know, well, let's go look for it. We drove around, you know, in my area, there's like 4,000 of these boats. So to try and like tell somebody, hey, keep an eye out for a 12 foot aluminum duck skiff is like, you know, I mean, just go down to browse me. There's like 400 examples of it just casually driving through. Anyway, so I call up County. I said, hey man, my duck skiff got stolen. They're like, okay, what's the whole number? I gave him the whole number. And he says, you have any idea where it's at? And I said, it's probably in 32 pieces going to Portland for scrap. I have no idea. I said, the only reason why I'm even calling you is that if I happen to come across this thing, I want to be able to call you up. And they were like, okay, well, we're going to try and find your boat. And I'm like, don't worry about it, man. It's like, don't put your effort into it. You guys are too busy. I said, if you happen to come across it, whatever, here's the whole number if you find it. Um, years later go by. And my buddy sends me a picture from a Facebook cell site. And there's my boat. And I'm like, dude, that is it. That, I mean, I could tell my boat from a mile. I was like, man, that is it. And he is, uh, I said, okay, man, well, I guess I got to call County. So this is like five years later. I call up County. I said, Hey, I just found my duck boat that I had reported stolen like five years ago. And they're like, well, how do you know it's yours? And I said, I recognize it in the picture. I said, I know some aftermarket repairs that we have put in that report that are in that boat, that are on that boat, and they're unique to that boat. Nobody else, well, I mean, somebody else could have done it, but nobody else did the repairs like, I, like I'm going to describe. And there's no way you can tell it from the picture. So a little bit later, I get a call from county, and the county deputy is... Uh, He's standing there and he's like, hey man, I'm looking at your boat right now. Tell me about this boat. How do you know what's yours? And I said, okay, man, there is some brackets, some aluminum brackets that I had cut. There were this like inch and a half by inch and a half L brackets. They were about two inches wide. I had used them to rivet the boat seats to the hull because the rivets that had originally held there had broke loose. And I squirted some silicone. I had put some silicone in between the brackets and the hull. So some silicone is squirting out from underneath each one of these brackets that I had riveted in, riveted in the place. And he said, all right, and now tell me about this damaging that happened. And I was just like, all right. So like my old man and his buddy were drunk driving home, you know, with this boat and they forgot to tie it off and a damn thing fell off the trailer and a skid along the ground and, you know, screwed the bottom of the boat up. And so if you see where the hole meets the, the stern there, it's been welded back into place. And he was like, yeah, you can come on down and get your boat. And I was like, oh man, I'll be right there. Ran down, that family did not even question it. They were like, man, sorry, we, I, we don't know. Hey, and I'm like, whatever, guys, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not upset with it or anything. I'm just happy to get my boat back. And what got me is that I could see this 13-year-old kid who was there kind of like, you know, like wondering what the hell was going on because this boat he'd been riding around in, I could tell, since he was probably eight years old. 
And he's thinking, man, this thing was stolen the whole time. You could just see it, you know. I mean, it was kind of a shady family to begin with. But I thought to myself, man, how easy was that? I didn't have to take him to court. I didn't have to sue him. I didn't have to prove anything to him. I knew exactly the features that I needed to tell those guys in order to claim my boat. There was no question about it. Like nobody questioned whether or not it was mine. I reported it stolen five years earlier and these people had it and it was obvious. So anyway, I got my boat back. I really didn't even want it. I gave it to the neighbor like two weeks later and sold it to him for like 400 bucks. I can't remember, but that's why that was my story with dealing with personal private property that had been stolen and how to get it back. Now, property rights, when it comes to like homes and property, like actual land, there is a lot of laws of saying about what it is that you can and cannot do with your property. And now in the comment section, that's what I think we should discuss is what is it that you feel is property? How much right do you have over your property? And what would you do to protect your property or to claim your ownership to that property? I think that would make for a great discussion. Uneducated economist. You guys let me know.